Some people look at Carson Palmer as a top five quarterback. Some look at him as a choke artist. I look at him as a very inconsistent quarterback. There are some throws he makes that are so accurate that you feel like, wow, this guy is very, very legit. But some throws are just completely abysmal, and you're like, why the hell did you throw that? Also, when I look at him, he really struggles to read a defense. Now, when he reads a defense and all that, I, he feels like he tries to act like he's Brett Favre. But Brett Favre can get away with it because he had a hell of a lot more talent, I would say. Carson Palmer, yes, he's talented, but he doesn't have the same arm as Brett Favre does. Now, when I look at him, it's just, when, I, when it comes to his arm, Brett Favre had very good technique, so he can make a lot more consistent throws. Carson Palmer just doesn't have the same. It's just, when I look at him, it's just inconsistent, and it's just all over the place. Yes, he can make some good throws here, but that can really affect him. Especially when he refuses to read a defense. Now, sometimes your best wide receiver is the open wide receiver, not your number one wide receiver. And it's not like you look at Carson Palmer's receiving core and you're like, wow, that's garbage. It's pretty good with Larry Fitzgerald, Michael Floyd, David Johnson, and a decent O-line. And you think you have a pretty good offensive mind with Bruce Arians as a coach in a dome stadium. But it's just... He should be doing so much better. And there's some games where he will throw four interceptions where you're just like, why would you do that? And it's not like they're tipped interceptions or anything. These are in triple coverage. That's what I'm saying. He needs to be able to read a defense. And he needs to look for the open wide receiver. And that's why Carson Palmer is overrated.